So at the nursery, all masked up. Anyways, I'm looking at junipers. Found this nice juniper. It's a uh, more dense juniper sabina of some cultivar. It's got a really nice thick, I wanna say quite thick. Now you can see they've just trimmed it down. Um, so what you're looking for something pretty thick now sometimes these just come straight up and then spread out this one actually has a nice line in now I mean I'm thinking 80% of that will have to come off um, but it's a nice nice one so I get in here feel around and then I feel up the line to see if see if there's enough of a trunk that'll, that'll come out but yeah, uh, $23 and then they have a 20% off sale. So a bunch, bunch of junipers, bunch of junipers. You know, when I'm looking at junipers, I kind of am starting to get a little more picky on the, the foliage type, uh, especially for longer term development. So, you know, I mean, some of these, these are these golden yellow, they're golden yellow, what are they called? Gold coastal, they just have that yellow feel. It's like that big, huge one that I have. Uh, I like that, but I, I'm just not as strong fan so i'm liking the the more blues you can see over there the dense denser foliage uh, but much bluier uh, yeah contorted european larch never seen that before but look at that <laughs> and then you get up here and it's just gnarly uh, I mean, I love I love the large. I'm not gonna get this one. It's uh, 80, 85 dollars, but uh, yeah, that's really awesome. Here's just some regular, well, regular Siberian large. Uh, but again, here's the here's another European contorted one. Look at that bending, weeping branches, right? These are passion cherries. Some decent bark movement now you can kind of dig under and get you can see it's flaring quite a bit in there which is nice but what I notice is when you look at these leaves they're pretty big and then you go over to this and this is a and uh, the leaves are just a little smaller and they really have a nice cool orange um you know I did see this what is that? What is that? You know, it's like, I could do something with that. It's just so funky at the bottom. Um, these are what? Uh, 22, 20% uh, off, so four bucks off, 18. It's tempting just to go for that, just for the weird base, but I don't think so, actually. Um, they have quite a few. Uh, I did find this and uh, it's a nice Nambari. We peeled it away a bit see there's a decent there's nothing on the back which is kind of unfortunate um, so it you know it kind of makes it empty back there but I do like these subtle movements it's not too you know it's and it's it's quite thick compared to everything else I'm seeing in here there's some nice movements too not the same amount of turns and subtle shifts. There's a decent little bit of movement. It kind of gets straight there. I'm feeling, just feeling one root in a bari. So yeah, I'm thinking that's it. And I, I mean, that'd be just amazing if it had a bunch of little cute flowers. Uh, little teeny, those look like little teeny cherries. So uh, white flowers, we'll see. I think this is the one. So you can see why people like the barberries. Uh, just really dense. A whole bunch of them here, but really dense leaves. Just teeny, teeny little leaves, right? And so, um, you know, if you can get a good base, uh, then you might be able to work with something. But unfortunately, a lot of the bases are like that. Um, but yeah, they're just, just beautiful plants, right? And just the, t the again, like I said, it's that teeny leaf. You know, and maybe it, it does become like a 
a little forest planting. I may try to find one of these. Let's see. Yeah, so there's not a bad horrible line. You know, it kind of comes up. This, this, so all of this stuff would have to be gone. Just be this little bush here. Pulled back. Let's see. So a lot of them just have nothing, right? They're just... Kind of do like a clump style. You know, that's an option. Oh, there's a there's a decent chunk. You can probably get down inch two. All right, back from my nursery trip. Um, so just I just can't help myself in there. But I realized, like you know, I paid what eighteen dollars for this, and sometimes I'll pay twenty dollars for the little little ones. So this is I'm like super excited. I love doing these junipers. Um, and this is the one I did show you. I don't know if you can see in there. I should maybe clean it out a bit for you. I can pick out a little in here. See if we can get a see if we can get a shot on that. So it's actually quite quite thick. Um, especially for like a $20 juniper. So really what I hope for. It looks like there's two kind of trunks there. So I might have to select one, but really nice, tight, compact foliage. Um, super happy with this one. This is a rhododendron uh, azalea, or azalea rhododendron. Um, reblooming azalea. Oh, sorry. This is a, yeah, reblooming, they call it so it blooms twice, azalea. Again, this is not as cold tolerant, so I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try to maybe put this near the house in the dirt. And this is the one I'm just super happy. And again, I think this was $20, this one. Uh, this is that little cherry. So maybe it'll get little cherry blossoms, but um, yeah, nice. Nice Nabari as, as you saw, and just nice movement, right? Just nice movement. I could take that as the main one here, but it's, it's already, it's just, you know, I'm gonna bring it way down and ramify it, uh, you know, create that ramification, but super fun. I just love going to the nurseries. Um, so yeah, those are the three and you just gotta, you gotta hold back, you know, and so the, this was $60 and you know, now I'm starting to think, okay, I'm in that price range where I, I get these sort of smaller trees for $60 or for $20, maybe $30 I'd spend. And, uh, and the fall is a great time because you often have these sales 20% off, 30% off, or there'll be sale racks and, uh, so you can get them for next year. But now I'm kind of starting to think, you know, how many more of these, that size tree do I want? I love working on them. It's really good training, but I think next time maybe it'll be the, up to the 60 or $50 range or, you know, even an $80 range and get like a really nice tree. Uh, but we'll see. I have to kind of work that into the budget and make sure I can keep all of these trees alive.